Brendan, if I could go to you first, I suppose farmers have become aware of the scheme uh, over the last over the last few weeks, but certainly there's been a lot of work going on in the background, a lot of negotiations at Brussels and whatnot. Maybe if I could just ask you, what's the objectives of of of, uh, of this scheme, and and what changes are we likely to see, and and how and what what, what the design is designed in such a way to deliver those changes, and what I suppose what are the changes? Well, Justin, it's about the development <coughs> of the beef sector, and that's something everyone around the table here has a common interest in. And it's about positioning the suckler herd as part of that uh, dynamic. And from a public policy perspective, uh, the department and the minister think that the suckler herd has a very important part to play in the production of quality Irish beef. Uh, we know uh, that there are significant problems with poor profitability in the beef herd. We know that uh, that is at least in part attributable <coughs> to poor genetics on the maternal side. Uh, and this scheme is about addressing those weaknesses and ultimately about improving farmer profitability. Now, of course, there are other impacts also, uh, because by improving efficiency and profitability on the beef herd, we also improve the greenhouse gas intensity of the beef uh, sector. Uh, that's very important from a number of perspectives. Firstly, in the context of international discussions on the future of livestock industries, it's very important to position Ireland's already strong uh, uh, environmental credentials, but also to Im improve on those in the context of international debate around climate change. And secondly, of course, uh, the fact that Ireland has a very environmentally sustainable uh, industry and that we are taking strides to improve it is a key part of our marketing strategy in international markets. So for all of these reasons, uh, this scheme is a very important uh, step. Uh, it's about serious suckler farmers uh, making commitments to improve their own efficiency, but also imp to improve the environmental sustainability of their herds. So really it's twofold, to boost the profitability by producing more and reducing the carbon footprint by producing more from less. Exactly, and it really it addresses uh, weaknesses <coughs> that are widely accepted and of course you don't have to rely on the department's word for that because we have experts like Andrew Cromie, Donna Berry of, of uh, Chagask and I know that you've written extensively uh, on this maternal index also Justin so uh, there is a difficulty there and this scheme is uh, intended to improve that situation.